Thanks, the gentlelady. The gentlelady yields back, and the chair recognizes the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Kinzinger, five minutes for questions. Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you all for being here, taking the time, and elaborating on these issues. Mr. Drew, for you, is it accurate to categorize the recent DDoS attacks as an international issue? Uh, it, it absolutely is, 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 is an international issue. Um, the, the device manufacturers were foreign. The, the majority of the locations where the device was, were, were located was foreign. Um, you know, most of what we're talking about here today from a regulation perspective uh, wouldn't have a direct significant impact on, on at least the adversaries that were involved in the October 21st attacks. And do you know, are there any other countries, international groups, et cetera, focused on these security issues right now? I mean, yes. I mean, there are, there are a number of countries that, that are focused on um, very progressive uh, cybersecurity uh, controls. Uh, in, in, um, uh, in Great Britain, as an example, there, there is a significant amount of, of uh, cybersecurity work with regards to integrating that into to the, to the, to the telecommunications sector. So, meaning that um, if uh, you're going to be offering telecommunications services or if the government's going to be purchasing services, you have to be certified at a certain cybersecurity level. And so... Are you seeing any kind of, through these groups and countries, any kind of a consensus on how to move forward? And I guess what recommendations would you give to Congress to, in essence, marry up to that or work together on those issues to help the conversation? I, I you know, I, I'm going to go back to uh, my, my, one of my original points, which is, is uh, I do believe that we are missing, you know, defined standards in this space that, that uh, we can get some adoption around, that we can get some pressure uh, focused on and we can change buying, uh, buying and investment patterns. I think that, that, that uh, by setting those standards and by setting them by both uh, domestic and international groups, whether it's NIST or ISO, uh, you know, setting these standards so that, that you can force buying behaviors of both consumers as well as businesses, I think is going to be a, a major step forward. Yeah, a lot of reports are indicating, as we've discussed, a staggering increase in the number of connected devices over the next few years. It's a number we heard today anywhere between 20 and 50 billion devices, which is unreal. What do you think policymakers and stakeholders should think about in general regarding cybersecurity and their connection moving forward? What would be kind of a takeaway you'd want us to leave with? I think innovation is progressing faster than discipline. And uh, you know what tends to happen is, is uh, we go on a biorhythm of, of um, uh, a lack of discipline causing significant un unintended and unforeseen consequences. Um, our ability to adapt uh, and, and respond to those is the thing that's going to keep that, that infrastructure um, uh, protected and as well as uh, continue to evolve it. So um, I think that, that uh, you know, the, the average CSO has to manage 75 separate security vendors, and that is to, to bolt on security controls for products and services that they are purchasing. And when we get one of those dials wrong, there, there are some significant consequences as a result. Um, and so focusing on making sure that, that pre-market controls are placed in that, that infrastructure is going to be a significant adaptable win for us. Dr. Fu, uh, Congressman Long brought up the issue of default passwords, and you stated that we should get away from passwords altogether. Can you elaborate on that? Right. I mean, so passwords is just intrinsically insecure. Uh, you know, we, we, we're human. We write them down. We choose poorly. Uh, so pretty much any password system um, is going to encourage unwise security behavior.